Hashtag her story, Saxony and its female academics. Saxony's universities and colleges are among the oldest in Germany. Yet without female involvement, their ongoing history would be inconceivable, and not just today and tomorrow, but also yesterday. For nearly 150 years, women in search of education have sought access to the four universities and numerous colleges in Saxony, including in times when they were barred from higher education. However, the official introduction of equal rights for women didn't bring about genuine equality in the university life for many long years. Women still had to struggle for a place in higher education, research and teaching in the face of serious reservations, prejudice and resistance. The exhibition Hashtag Her Story pays tribute to outstanding female academics and researchers from the higher education sector in Saxony past and present, making them ambassadors of women's demand for education in this region and beyond. The lives and careers of the women portrayed here are academic success stories rooted in Saxony. Hashtag Her Story tells of females' thirst for knowledge, determination and courage. Learn about the mathematician who risked her life exploring the desert of Peru, the doctor who was the first woman in Germany to be allowed to sit the state examination in medicine, the virtuoso ballerina who reinvented the zeitgeist with her style of dance, and the woman with a doctorate in engineering who made it to the boardroom of Volkswagen. Many of the stories recounted here concern women who were quite simply among the very first female undergraduates, postgraduates, lecturers, professors and even rectors at universities and colleges. Their biographies are as colourful and flamboyant as Saxony's higher education sector. And they indicate that women don't tend to study particular subjects. These pioneers, inventors and creators have contributed to Saxony's educational progress across the board, whether in mathematics, chemistry and physics, economics and politics, or dance, painting and music. Their stories are a source of inspiration and courage for the future. Female doctoral students The legendary receipt of a PhD by a physician Dorothea von Erxleben, 1715-1762, in 1754 from the University of Halle long remained a historic exception. Women with an inquiring mind had to be content with being an undergraduate, for only in exceptional cases, chiefly in medicine, were female doctoral candidates permitted before 1906. Even within Saxon universities, doctorates for women were considered an unnecessary adornment. Only slowly did faculties open their doors to female postgraduates after 1906. For example, in 1912, the Faculty of Philosophy at Leipzig University granted women equal opportunities to take a PhD in its doctoral degree regulations. In 1918, 38 women received a doctorate from the Alma Mater Lipsiensis, mainly in chemistry, biology and physics. In 1919, Maria Frommer became the first woman to be awarded a doctorate in architecture by Dresden College of Technology. In times of war, the lack of men caused the proportion of female doctoral candidates to rise to in some cases half. In East Germany, women were encouraged to work in academia by the state, and in 1969, Eleonora Diesner became the first German woman to earn a doctorate in a technical field at Chemnitz University of Technology. Nevertheless, women rarely chose an academic career because the temporary junior positions were incompatible with starting a family. Nowadays, the number of female doctoral students is rising continuously. By 2015, the share of women taking doctorates at Saxon universities had reached 40.5%. Afer Lips, Ethnologist and Institute Director Afer Lips was initially interested in the plant world, her very first newspaper article being about cacti. Later on, she switched her attention to humans, and now an ethnologist, 
studied the indigenous peoples of North America. As an institute director, she was one of the first women at Leipzig University to be given a full professorship. Born in Leipzig in 1906 as the daughter of publisher Ernst Wiegand, Eva Lips grew up in an educated middle-class household. In 1925, she married qualified ethnologist Julius Lips and also devoted herself to the study of ethnology at the universities of Cologne, Bonn and Paris. Politically persecuted by the Nazis, Eva and Julius Lips emigrated to the USA. In 1934, Julius Lips began working as a professor of ethnology and law at the universities of New York and Washington. At this time, Eva was her husband's scientific assistant, although she did her own fieldwork among the North American indigenous peoples. In 1948, the couple returned to Leipzig, where Julius Lips was appointed director of the Institute of Ethnology and Comparative Sociology of Law. Eva Lips took charge of the institute after her husband's untimely death in 1950. This marked the start of her own academic career, and she received a doctorate and a habilitation on the Ojibwa tribe in North America. In 1960, she was finally appointed a full professor. In addition to her research work, Afa Lips strove to correct the prevailing stereotypical image of North American indigenous peoples and wrote several non-fiction books about them. On the 24th of July 1988, Afa Lips died at the age of 82. Zibylle von Schiestzel, Doctor of Engineering and Automotive Manager As an engineer and the highest-ranking woman at Volkswagen, for decades, Sibylle von Schiestel set the tone in quality control. She laid the academic foundation for her spectacular ascent in Dresden, where she studied physics at the College of Technology and gained a doctorate in mechanical engineering. Sibylle Schiek was born in Dresden in 1918 to Martha and Walter Schiek, who later became the last Saxon Prime Minister of the Weimar Republic. In 1940, she enrolled on the physics program at Dresden College of Technology. In 1944, she married fellow student Karl Theodor Schiestzel von Buda. But then, with her husband in Soviet captivity, Sibylle von Schiestzel spent four years raising their daughter by herself. Despite her difficult circumstances, she conducted research and taught at both the Institute of Physics and the Institute of Electrochemistry and Physical Chemistry. In 1948, still in effect a single mother, she attained an engineering doctorate for her thesis on the viscosity of oils. In 1952, facing arrest for having warned several students of their impending, politically motivated detention, Sibylle von Schiestzel and her family fled East Germany and settled in Mannheim, where she was employed at the Central Laboratory of the American Armed Forces. In 1956, Sibylle von Schiessel moved to Wolfsburg to work for Volkswagen, initially heading the Inorganic Chemistry Laboratory. In 1972, she was made head of the Global Quality Promotion Department. She made a name for herself throughout the male-dominated automotive industry as the highest-ranking woman in Volkswagen. In addition, she became involved in the international networking of female academics. She was a founding member of Soroptimist International, an organization dedicated to the solidarity and social activities of working women worldwide. In 1990, Sibylle von Schiestel moved to Sweden to be with her daughter. She died in Sweden in 2010. Until her death, Sibylle von Schiestel kept in touch with her alma mater and drove there several times in her VW Golf. Friederike Trefts, X-ray specialist and dedicated Christian. Friederike Trefts had much in common with her sister Eleonora. Both shared a passion for science, for instance, but after their doctorates, their careers took them separate ways. While Eleonora went to Göttingen in West Germany, Friederike began educating generations of physicians in the East German city of Dresden. 
Like her sister Eleonora, two years her senior, Friederike Treffs adored science. She studied medicine at the universities of Marburg, Freiburg and Leipzig. In December 1945, she graduated with a license to practice medicine. Her sister Eleonora Treffs, 1920-2017, became the first woman to earn a doctorate after the Second World War at Dresden College of Technology, which is where the sister's father, Erich Treffs, 1888-1937, had been an internationally renowned professor of engineering mechanics. Friederike Treffs gained international professional experience at hospitals in Dresden. In 1949, she caught up with her sister, who had left Dresden a year beforehand to take up a research position in Göttingen, by being awarded a doctorate at Leipzig University for her thesis, Bronchial Cancer in Connection with Lung Silicosis. In 1957, she became a certified radiology specialist. As the senior consultant of the X-ray department at the surgical clinic of the Carl Gustav Karus Academy of Medicine in Dresden, she introduced and then honed state-of-the-art X-ray diagnostic techniques. Alongside her teaching, her work in X-ray diagnostics earned her a reputation far outside the clinic. She spent over 25 years in this position before finally retiring in 1986. A professing Christian active on the parish council, Friederike Treffs received several state awards for her outstanding medical work. In her spare time, she played the violin in the Dresden Mozart Orchestra. She resided in the family villa in the Loschwitz borough of Dresden well into her old age. In 2002, she presented the historical Mercedes calculating machine used by her eminent father, to Dresden University of Technology. Until her death in 2011, Friederike Treffs maintained close ties with Dresden University and its hospital. Her sister, Eleonora Treffs, died on the 22nd of October 2017 at the age of 98, and the Eleonora Treffs Visiting Professor Program was launched in her honour at Dresden University of Technology. Claudia Lehmann, airport expert and sought-after economics lecturer. With a doctorate in industrial engineering, Claudia Lehmann heads CLIC, the Centre for Leading Innovation and Cooperation at HHL Leipzig, where she plans the industrial processes of tomorrow. Claudia Lehmann was born in 1981 in the town of Guben in the region of Brandenburg. At Dresden University of Technology, she majored in aerospace engineering, the planning and design of airports, and technology and innovation management. She acquired practical experience from, for instance, a long internship with Lufthansa in San Francisco. In 2009, Claudia Lehmann graduated with a degree in industrial engineering. That same year, she became a research assistant and doctoral student at the HHL Leipzig Graduate School of Management where she conducted research into service productivity. Claudia Lehmann has also headed research and consulting projects in conjunction with various commercial companies at the Centre for Leading Innovation and Cooperation of the HHL Leipzig Graduate School of Management and conducted workshops on creativity management. In 2015, she successfully completed her doctoral thesis entitled Exploring Service Productivity – Studies in the German Airport Industry Since receiving her doctorate, Claudia Lehmann has been the executive director of CLIC, where she is responsible for the budget and HR, as well as raising external funding and the procurement of industrial projects. She also lectures in prominent educational institutions in Germany and abroad, such as in Leipzig, Nuremberg, Berlin and Rome. Claudia Lehmann frequently travels to international conferences nurtures CLIC's extensive contacts and presents papers on her research interests, especially Industry 4.0. Claudia Lehmann is a member of several professional associations, such as the VDI Association of German Engineers and the European Academy of Management, or URAM. Eleonora Diesner, first female doctoral candidate 
and a dedicated engineer. Eleonora Diesner was the first woman to take a doctorate in an engineering subject at Karl Marx Stadt College of Technology. During her long career, she made an important contribution to materials research in East Germany. Today, the Eleonora Diesner Award encourages young female researchers at Chemnitz University of Technology to excel. Eleonora Diesner was born in 1934 in the town of Georgswalder, now Yizhikov in the Czech Republic, as the daughter of a master mechanic. In August 1946, the Diesner family were expelled from their homeland and settled across the border in Ebersbach. After leaving high school in 1953, Eleonora Diesner was one of the first women at the newly founded College of Mechanical Engineering in Karl Markstadt, now Chemnitz University of Technology. Studying the technology of mechanical engineering, she graduated in 1959. As a research assistant at Karl Marx Stadt College of Technology, Eleonora Diesner mainly studied steel processing. She also completed a distance learning course in Japanese for scientists and technicians at the Humboldt University in Berlin. In 1969, Eleonora Diesner became the first German woman to be awarded a doctorate in a technical subject and only the third woman to receive a PhD from Karl Markstadt College of Technology. She then went on to work successfully at a number of research institutes in the East German Academy of Sciences. In 1990, Eleonora Diesner joined the VDI Association of German Engineers and became actively involved in the re-establishment of the VDI in Saxony. In 2013, Chemnitz University of Technology introduced the annual Eleonora Diesner Award. It's presented by the Equal Opportunities Commission at Chemnitz University of Technology for outstanding master's theses and undergraduate dissertations by females in the five STEM faculties. The Exhibition Project The exhibition Hashtag Her Story Saxony and its Female Academics, is a joint project by the Equal Opportunities Office of Leipzig University and Leipzig University Archive in conjunction with other Saxon higher education archives, colleges and universities, as well as the Coordinating Office for the Promotion of Equal Opportunities at Higher Education Institutions in Saxony. This exhibition would not have been possible without the kind support of the Saxon Ministry of Social Affairs and Consumer Protection and the Minister of Equality and Integration. The establishments of higher education participating in Hashtag Her Story are Leipzig University, Dresden University of Technology, Freiberg University of Mining and Technology, Midweide University of Applied Sciences, Dresden Academy of Fine Arts, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdy University of Music and Theatre in Leipzig, and the HHL Leipzig Graduate School of Management.